many of people are staying still in a tent shelter, still. A whole generation perhaps will grow up living in small makeshift tents. It shouldn't be take this much time to settle, I mean, resettle them, these people. You know, the weather is so cold and children are still staying in a, I mean, and in plastic cell, they can't go to school. The life is such miserable. The government is proposing to give $2,000 equivalent of Nepali rupees to each affected families to build a house. And the government is giving designs using materials like stones and bricks and cement which will cost at least $20,000. So there's no way major the people will be able to build house with government support. And they have no other support because they've lost everything. A whole generation perhaps will grow up living in small makeshift tents. One of the biggest challenges is how to build it safe and also affordable homes. So we were searching for alternatives and uh, I heard about Earth Bag project. Uh, that you can build affordable, safe homes using all local resources. Suddenly the ground just sick. The house begins to sick. We just heard children screaming help. I lost my grandmother. Now I'm standing in the uh, old house. It is uh, destroyed by the earthquake. I miss my old house. I have come here for, for years uh, and I love these people. It's, it's my family. And more than 50,000 people just in Back Valley here have lost the entire home. People not know how to make a, a strong construction that can you know, take an earthquake. And everybody stand on earth. It is available everywhere. When we heard about the possibility of using art bags, art bag buildings, we thought we'll give it a try. And that's what we're doing now, building an art bag building. So we will build on the same footprint of the original building. Actually, it was a new concept for me. I and other friends become amazed. Oh, is, is that possible? So just putting some some art inside the sack and and lay just like a brick. Peter said that it will stand more than 100 years, maybe 120 years. What number is that? Type B. Let the 15th tom. And our school, okay, we have managed some tents and these houses for the school purpose. We are running classes in these tents, but it is uh, to teach the students under the tent in this cold weather. It is difficult for us and for the students also. So this is where we're uh, making the earth bags. If you could come in this way. It's so simple. Um, if you can put earth in a bag and you know how to do it, put it properly up, then you have a, a construction that is strong. All the materials we need is just earth and some cement. If the earth lacks clay, it needs 6% of clay. And, uh, and if it lacks clay, if it's more uh, sandy, then we add a little bit of uh, cement and some, some water. And this is how we mix it. But what the people here uh, who are building it want to do is, while they're learn building this, they're learning how to make their own home. It's cheap, uh, it's not cost much. And up here, it's not many, it's many places do not have a road to go up here. And for an entire home and for a school, you can, you know, few people can carry enough for a whole school. This will be the first building using earth bags in Halambo, probably in Sindhu Palchik district. You need some earth bag, you need some, some prop wire and some tin for the roof. Pretty much that's it. What we want here now is to make sure that they know how the right techniques. Everyone can build their house by the group 
uh, after my, after this SLC, I'm planning to build that type of house in my village. Yeah. And maybe the next academic year will be on that school construction site. Okay, that will be ready for the next academic year. And it's millions of millions of people out there that live in a, in a tent camp. Do not know what a stand-on can provide them an incredible house, not only a shelter.